I'm excited to bring in the set. Welcome back to Lima Bean Living. If you guys are new here, my name is Emily. Welcome to my little motherhood channel where I take care of all things mom. In today's video, I'm going to be setting up a little sandbox that we got. So I'd like to thank Jugiter for sponsoring today's video. They sent us this amazing little sandbox and I'm gonna be setting it up today and hopefully when it's not too hot or too bright, because right now it's pretty bright, uh, we'll get Aubrey in, out here and playing with it and she loves sand so I'm sure she's gonna love this. So the pieces for this sandbox came very nicely packed and for the most part protected. There was plastic wrap over some of the pieces and I've gotten them all laid out now, kind of ordered. They have stickers on them labeling what piece they actually are so that when I'm following the instructions, I don't get overly confused and forget like which one is which. So I'm actually really excited about the setup because the pieces are like ones where you just press the button in and snap it in. It's not a lot of like screwdrivers or things like that. So I'm hoping that the setup will be relatively quick. So if you're a mom like me and you really need to like get something set up really quick for your kids and you don't have like tons of time to like build something this will probably be a good product for you also since it's summer and it's hot I'm really looking forward to a very quick setup so let's go ahead and get this done Okay, so, unless I'm going crazy, even though all of these parts are labeled three, there is like a certain way that you want the little buttons to be facing. So when you assemble it, I'm assuming, make sure you assemble it with the shorter end of the rectangle where the uh, little buttons are facing the short end of the rectangle and not the long end. So maybe I just didn't read the instructions right. Maybe they need to be labeled like 3A and 3B, but I think this is going to solve the problem of correctly setting up the roof. finally set up. I'm going to move it into place. We want it in that corner, but it would actually work pretty well out on the concrete. But let's go ahead and move this and pour the sand in. I'm going to recruit Juan to help me out. So something I eventually want to do is maybe like put some bones or something under here, like on a piece of wood, glue the bones down and then pour more sand on top so that she can like dig and, you know, be a little excavator. But for now, we're just going to put the sand in here and fill it up as best as possible. Time stops when I'm falling for you.
Okay, so overall, this was fairly easy to set up. I did have some difficulties. Um, I guess like I put the number three, the bars that um, are at the four corners, I put some where they shouldn't be, but they're all labeled three. So it was kind of like trial and error in that case. But like I said, you want the little button when you're assembling them to be like facing each other on the short side of the rectangle. So take that, you know, into consideration when you're building this. And um, other than that though, like it was really easy to set up. Obviously I could have poured the sand in myself, but I wanted Juan's involvement. And you know, I've been holding a 20 pound baby all day long. I didn't want to have to lift up six 40 pound bags of sand. So anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and let Aubrey play in this tomorrow because it is still pretty warm and the sun's like right in our face. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the cover that it comes with to cover up the sand just in case it rains, which I, it's not gonna rain. But I also don't want it to blow away. It's really windy around here. So I'm thankful that this comes with a little cover. Did your world stop spinning? Does your world revolve around me? All right, this is nice and secure. It's not gonna be blown away anywhere. I'm excited about this. So we'll go ahead and check back in tomorrow when Aubrey plays in her new sand pit. All right, we're gonna see what mommy set up for you. Do you know what's in here? Mm -hmm. What? Mm -mm. What's in there? Sand! You're right. Let's tie, untie this, and then we can play. What, what happens if we leave it out? If we leave it out? Yeah. Well, it's it'll stay here. It's in our backyard. Well, what if the string rolls away? Oh, we'll tie it so it stays safe. Deal? Are you excited? Mm -hmm. I'm excited to swing in the sand and <laughs> jump on it. <laughs> okay. And do you like your own little tent? <laughs> I like and instead of my big booty there. Look at me. I should to jump on that rack wing later. Oh, <laughs> Cody, let's jump in it and get those two cuts out. Okay. So this is a nice little UV protective shade. And the way we have it right now is our house is shading some of it and the, t the little tent itself is shading the other part. So when the sun continues to come up, it'll shade right down. So I think this is a really good setup for us. Hold my fleece, hold my fleece. Left a star glowing in your eyes and Okay, but keep the sand in the sandbox, silly. I know it looks like we have a bunch of other sand, but that will eventually be grass. Cause the 
Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave Aubrey outside playing for a little bit. I'm excited, I can do some work around the house. I'm disturbed because Jack is napping. Again, I'd like to thank Jugata for sponsoring today's video and sending us this awesome little sandbox. I'm so excited, I'm so happy that it has shade because out here where we are, it's super sunny and I don't want her to get sunburned because she is, you know, half me. So anyways, if you guys found this video helpful or you just enjoyed watching me and Aubrey, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. If you guys are new here, I would love for you to stick around and subscribe and check out all of my motherhood content and I'll catch you in the next one. to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.